try to establish it. Obviously, Jeff George will have to put it up now. Second, 14. It goes to Clark again, and he's hit by Phil Hansen, the rookie. And he will be marked back at the 13-yard line, so they'll lose another yard. And it will become third down and very long for them now. Or did the Buffalo Bills recover the ball? They call it a fumble and give it to Shane Conlon. Field right now. First and 10 at the Indianapolis 14. Thurman Thomas to the 5. the fumble just a simple stutter uh, misdirection stutters to the right takes it on the inside the blocking is perfect the safeties are just a little bit late an easy play for a running back like Thurman Thomas Bills go one play 14 yards and a touchdown seven nothing Bills when we come back big rush from the outside he unloads the ball and Clarence Verdan cannot hang on at the 36 yard line Chris Hale and Marcus Patton was blitzing in on that blind side of George and forced him to throw the ball a little quicker than at their own 38 yard line back to Thomas straight ahead out to the 45 yard line and he'll pick up close to seven yards on the play Thomas again first down and into Indianapolis territory at the 49-yard line. Let's see if they keep it rolling now. At the 49, the Colts showing a blitz, and Carwell Gardner gets the handoff, and it's wrapped up by John Hand at the 48-yard line. To get replays in today. Third down and seven. A high ball and a great catch by James Lofton at the Indianapolis 35, and a first down, the coverage made by Chris Good. 17.7 seconds to line up and run a play. Thomas hits down to the 30-yard line. And again, now they'll get right back up. Kelly looks 30-yard line. A blitz. Kelly. Thomas. What a catch. Bottom of your screen. Carwell Gardner hops in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Gardner touchdown run now have tacked on another touchdown and they lead over the winless Colts 14 nothing starts on that pass play Ken Clark and he cuts back and Daryl Talley and Shane Conlon and most of the Buffalo defense Mike Lodish is there too and so it's second down seven George dumps it out. Clark makes the catch. Tries to get up the sideline. He's chased on the play. By they run the ball. Third down. Five. George pumps one down the sideline, and the catch is made over by the Indianapolis bench. Bill Brooks makes the catch, and a first down at the 47 of Buffalo. A concussion as he was sacked by Cornelius Bennett. Nice fake. Bob Morosco, the tight end, makes the catch. And he's got another Indianapolis first down as he hits inside the Buffalo 35. Now. Steps up and throws. He's got Jesse Hester. And Hester slides around to the 33-yard line. Kirby Jackson on the coverage for Buffalo. Out of the backfield. Clark has the sideline. And he's up near a Colt first down. Remember, after a holding penalty, they were first and 20. And in two plays, two completions by George, I believe they have the first down inside the 25-yard line. Hey. Quarter, third down, four. At the Buffalo 17-yard line. Clark to run it. And a first down down to the 11-yard line. I think the Bills were definitely thinking that Indianapolis would put it up. Oh, 12. He rolls out, hits his tight end, Morosco. Inside the five, down at the Buffalo three-yard line. Clark dives over the top. Obviously, Leon Seals believes that he stopped him. Clark dives. There's a loose ball as he came down. 
This would be a disaster if they rule that Buffalo has recovered. It would be a disaster for the Colts. Ouch! I think he lost some Woo. yardage on that play. Incomplete intended for Coley, the tight end. Anthony Johnson could not hang on, and there's a flag down, and it's holding against Indianapolis. 14-0 Buffalo. George throws it out to Clark, and he hits out inside the 10-yard line, then goes out of bounds at the eight-yard line. Guard field goal to get the Colts on the board. And he does. Now, is this a disaster for them? They go all of that time. They don't get a touchdown. It's Don Beebe will make the catch at the 10-yard line. There's a fumble, a loose football. And the Colts are pointing that they have it. In fact, the guy that was jumping right in there was Dean Biasucci, the kicker. I don't think he's the guy that ends up with the football. And Jeff George is on the money again. And this one goes to Clarence Verdan down near the Buffalo five-yard line where it will be first and goal. Now down from the six. Well, he'll go down. He thought about running it right up the middle because he saw a crease there. Then that crease closed, and he did a wise thing getting down. The three Buffalo. And the pass is caught. And no, they ruled that Verdan stepped out of bounds. And he will now try and attempt his second field goal, a 29-yard field goal attempt. And it's good. He played the win perfectly right there. You know, he said that what he does is if, if he has a win, he'll throw it at one of the goal posts and let it blow in. That time he sent it at the right post, it curled right in. 14 to 6. We'll be right back. Long time since we've seen him. Thurman Thomas. And he carries out near midfield. Second down. Carwell Gardner. And a first down for Buffalo at the 36-yard line of Indianapolis. 1.8. And they are finding a lot of good things wow. off the right side of that line as Thomas hits down to the 17-yard line. Second and six. And Carwell Gardner gets up near another Buffalo first down. And if he has it, it will be... Thomas. Touchdown! What a run! Very often. Thomas with his second touchdown of the day. 84 yards rushing. A quick kick. <laughs> It's a screen pass, well set up now, Anthony Johnson. And he walls out to the 31-yard line. He had a pretty good setup there for the screen play. And Indianapolis does a nice job there, getting their putter at Ron Stark an opportunity to have some room to belt it out of there. And then all the play at the line. Second down. Kelly throws. Keith McKellar, the tight end, catches it. And he's out to the 37-yard line. The jump off. Third down and two, he's throwing. Now he's going to run. And he gets hit, and he might be short of the first down. He is very close to it, short of the 49-yard line. Once again, Kelly rumbling out of the pocket that time, and he did get the first down, and the Buffalo drive will continue at their own 49-yard line. Fumble the snap. And ducks away from the oncoming Dwayne Bickett. Bickett didn't even get a hit out of that Beasley. You know, This is for Lofton, and it's incomplete, and then the flag is thrown, and it's on Eugene Daniel, or could it go against Lofton? Had to run back through it. 
First and ten now. After the big penalty, Thurman Thomas. And he's to the ten-yard line. Ten to two, so Frank Reich is in at quarterback now. Second down and goal from the nine. He gets it to Thurman Thomas, who is hit from behind at the six-yard line and driven down. Now, back to Kelly. He was going over what the next play would be with Ted Marchabrota, and then quickly went over to the bench and is being attended to there. Well, the trainers are looking at him. They're calling everybody over to try to figure out exactly what it is. You're Frank Reich will try and throw. Touchdown, McKellar! There's Frank Reich. Now, here it is on the touchdown pass. Was he a happy guy? Beautiful pass, wasn't it? It was a perfect. And you know the thing about it, it, it was the timing of it. A Buffalo. Rick Venturi's Indianapolis Colts trail the Buffalo Bills 28 to 6 here at Rich Stadium. Let's go to Bob Costas with the NFL live show in New York. 24-yard line, second half underway here at Rich Stadium. And they go back to Thurman Thomas. Look at that play by Thurman Thomas out to the 30-yard line. He gets a six-yard gain out of a play that should have gotten nothing. Well, that's a guy like Jim Kelly. You lose a leadership and a confidence. Third and short. Wright gets away once and then twice and now finds Andre Reed. touchdown passes and Buffalo well on their way to win number six and James Lofton is on the other end of the ball Jeff George Jesse Hester and he should have a first down out over the 25 yard line there's that rollout to the tight end and Marosco makes the catch out at the 34-yard line, driven out by Cornelius Bennett. Same type of play. This is Ken Clark, and Clark has a first down for the Colts as he gets out to the 38-yard line. George has got that pass available again, and Clark is belted out of bounds into the Colts bench this time by Nate Odoms and Darrell Talley. So as you see, third and two. George and Marosco makes a nice catch in front of Shane Conlon, but the question is, does he have the first down? Touchdowns. Incomplete. That's the tight end, James Coley. Guys like Bill Brooks, Jesse Hester, there really isn't anything downfield for them. Indianapolis, an automatic first down. They give it to Ken Clark, and he's got a hole. Down to the Bills' 29-yard line. <laughs> Third down and one. And Clark got away from Baldinger and spins for the first down. And then as the whistle blows, there is a flag. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Number 46 defense on a late hit. First down. Yes, in yard line. Second down. Incomplete intended for Marosco, who was being held, and there's the flag, and they might have gotten Leonard Smith again. Here's Clark. And he gets it down to the six-yard line. Incomplete. 
George tried to drill it in there. Incomplete. The Bills stopped them, and the ball goes back over to Buffalo. It's disoriented right at the end of the first half. It is not an emergency situation. They are keeping him in there, and it's doubtful he'll come back out for the rest of the afternoon here against the Colts as his team under the direction of Frank Reich is very much in control of this game. Third down, Lofton was tackled on the play, and a penalty flag goes down. Kenneth Davis. Oh, what a run by Davis! He's gonna go the distance! Touchdown, Bills! And they have scored six touchdowns. What a run by 23. You know that that would be serious problems for this organization. All kinds of trouble. That should be intercepted by somebody, and it is. Kirby Jackson. Bill's locker room after getting hit right at the end of the first half. Davis pours down to the 35-yard line. And it's intercepted. Scott Radisek, the former Buffalo Bill, comes up with the interception and carries out That's near midfield. Jack Trudeau now in the shotgun on third and six. Incomplete. Anthony Johnson couldn't get to it. He got his left hand on it. But it is incomplete, and it is now fourth down. And do you go on fourth and six here? And it's going to be intercepted by Odoms. Nate Odoms. And he brings it down and back to the 27-yard line on the interception. Seven minutes to go in the game here in Buffalo. He's all the way down to the 47-yard line this afternoon. Barb Levy and his Buffalo Bills upset about they wait about the way they played on Monday night over Kansas City, and they win here today, 42 to six, and they go to six and one. Indianapolis goes to 0 and seven, and that's the end of the ball game here at Rich Stadium.